Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha and today we are going to discuss about what is National Legal Service Authority and functions of that. Article 39A of the Constitution of India provides for free legal aid to the poor and the weaker section of the society and ensure justice for all. It is also mentioned under Article 14 and 22.1 of the Constitution, make it obligatory for the state to ensure equality before law and a legal system which promotes justice on the basis of equal opportunity to all. The Legal Service Authority Act was enacted by the Parliament which came into force on 9th November 1995 to establish a nationwide uniform network for providing free and competent legal services to the weaker sections of the society on the basis of equal opportunity. In every state, a state legal service authority and in every high court, a high court legal service committee have been constituted. District Legal Services Authority Taluk Legal Service Committee have been constituted in the district and most of the taluk to give effect to the policies and direction of the NALSA and to provide free legal services to the people and conduct Lok Adalat in the state. Supreme Court Legal Service Committee has been constituted to administer and implement the legal service program in so far as to relates to the Supreme Court of India. So the functioning of NALSA is first to provide free and competent legal service to the eligible persons, second to organize loka dalats for amicable settlement of dispute and lastly to organize legal awareness camp in rural areas. What is free legal services? Basically it includes payment of court fees, process fees and all other charges payable or incurred in connection with any legal proceeding. Then, providing service of lawyer in legal proceeding. After that, obtaining and supply of certified copies of orders and other documents in legal proceeding. Thereafter, preparation of appeal, paper book, including printing and class translation of documents in legal proceedings. Now, who are the persons who are eligible for getting free legal services? They are women and children, member of SCST, industrial workmen, victim of mass disaster, violence, flood, drought, earthquake, industrial disaster, then disabled person, person in custody, persons whose annual income does not exceed rupees 1 lakh. In the Supreme Court Legal Service Commission, the limit is 5 lakh. Then lastly, victims of trafficking in human being or beggar. What is Lok Adalats? Basically, Lok Adalat is one of the alternatives dispute resolution mechanism. It is a forum where the disputes, cases pending in the court of law or at pre-litigation stage are settled, compromised amicably. The Lok Adalat have been given statutory status under the Legal Service Authority Act 1987. Under this act, an award made by a Lok Adalat is deemed to be decree of a civil court. This is very important and is final and binding on all parties and no appeal lies against thereto before any court. Legal Awareness Programs As a part of a preventive and strategic legal aid, NALSA through the State Legal Service Authority conduct legal literacy program. In some state, legal literacy programs are conducted every year in schools and colleges and also for empowerment of women in a routine manner, besides the ruler legal literacy camp. So that's all about the National Legal Service Authority. I hope you like the video and if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.